What up, man? It's Mosquito, a.k.a. Kulex. Kulex is my name in Latin. This is the face. That's a piece that I've done for Canon Roman Architecture, Family Heirloom. Uh, that's a big, pretty big picture. It's gone a long way. Anyhow, uh, just to give you guys a little idea of what I'm doing nowadays. Uh, this is a piece that I did. It's not done yet, but... All in all, it's a piece I'm working on. This is a major piece that I'm working on. It's pretty big. Another Roman architectural piece. Still working on. But uh, I want to let you guys know, man, uh, that uh, I've been doing good. Just to give you guys a heads up. It's been five months sober. And uh, I'm thankful for that. I feel really great, healthy, uh, go to the gym, work out, if not, I work out every day, doing push-ups and whatnot, anyhow, at the end of the day, I want to give you guys what basically set me off to just have this whole change of, of, of life, man, of, of thinking, my whole way of, of doing things now is totally different, um, I've been studying quantum physics, and neurobiology actually using them as tools to change your way of thinking um, a lot of people think oh, okay this is a uh, some weird stuff or whatever no it's science it's science it's learning how your brain works your synaptic connectors how they um, how they increase how you can build more so that uh, by the way a synaptic connector is is it's a connector that goes from one neuron to another but uh the more you learn the more you grasp something new every day the more synaptic connectors um latch onto a neuron anyhow um uh, i've been studying or reading actually a lot about uh, evolving your brain changing your way this one's the greatest book right here breaking the habit of being yourself by joe dispensa I love this book, as you can see, I have so much notes and stuff in here. I read it twice. Um, basically, it's, uh, I don't want to get too technical because I don't want to bore you guys, but uh, the quantum atom, look at the way the quantum atom, it's a fully electron cloud. That's the new quantum physics uh, atom, actually. Subatomic particles, which is like the old atom, of course, uh, Newton. Uh, his atom, I mean, it, it's it's still the same, but the quantum atom is just uh, the subatomic view of the atom, which uh, basically, uh, when you look into an electron cloud, um, a particle can appear anywhere. Of course, you can see it's just a bunch of little tiny, 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 tiny dots. Well, as an electron appears as a particle, if you use your mind, basically, uh, you can see the particle, and uh, then it would disappear into nothing as you take your focus off the particle. Uh, then when you think about it, and you start looking for the particle, and it automatically would appear again, which means you're using your mind, uh, and energy responds to mindful attention. Anyhow, um, I'm using all of this type of, of stuff <clears throat> as a tool um, to change the way I think. Um, and it works. It works. It's, it's working great. Number one, my addiction uh, with narcotics, it's so gone. I, I, this is my addiction. Uh, I've always had, I love learning. When I was younger, um, I used to hang out in the streets with the homies and stuff like that. Never went to school, but I always had my cousins bring my homework back. And uh, when I'd go to school, they'd be like, hey, bro, uh, you missed the holes. Nah, I knew all of it because I'd be out there in the streets, tell the homies, hey, bro, go get me a 40. And I'd pull out the homework, handling it. And then I'd take it back. And they're like, hey, how'd you pass the test? You cheat? Nah, man, I studied, man. I just wasn't able to make it. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I've always loved studying. Uh... And this is a great way to change your way of thinking. Um, it's basically uh, 
most of our mindset is 95, I think 95% subconscious, which means everything we do, everything, no matter what, waking up in the morning, making your cup of coffee, you wake up on the side of the bed, you wake up, you look at your chick, you know who she is. It's already programmed into our brains, hardwired. So <clears throat> our, at our, I, I mean, I'm older now, I'm 45, but at the end of the day, our, my brain is already set, pretty much programmed to life. As a kid, you, you, that's why as a child, it's important that you teach your kids what you teach them because they're grasping, they're learning everything. It's their, their synaptic connectors are just growing to whatever they learn. So you got to be careful as to what you teach your kids. But at the end of the day, there's a way to change all that. Even now, me at, at my age, um, basically in with the new, out with the old. You can um, just like starting a car, putting it in, in reverse, whatever, uh, drive, uh, all that. You don't even think about it. It's just subconscious. It just does. It's, it happens. Turning on a light. You know this little switch right here turns a light on. Subconscious, but there's a way when you study and you meditate and you constantly keep focus of your exterior exterior environment rather your exterior environment before your internal environment internal environment of course is your brain cells your the way the inside of your body works your external is out here now uh, example um, you might not even like gangster rap you might not even like classical music. But if you program your mind to listen to nothing but classical music while you do what it is you're doing, eventually it washes out, just with practice, it washes out the gangster rap. Just an example. Uh, there's no wrong with listening to both, whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's something new, something new, something different, something will change your 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 retrospect your the path you know what I mean of thinking so instead of waking up bumping something in your car like say hey, who's hey put on something something soothing something nice and be like hey you know what this is different but you know what I like it you know you never know but there's so many different ways to change just use these tools to uh, to grow man become a better person um, and I don't want to get into too much detail, but you can check out Joe Dispensa on YouTube. Check out his seminars and, and see what he's talking about. Um, I just want to let you guys know this is just pure science. It's it's factual, actual, factual. It's not no, you know what I mean. And and those of you who use God and stuff like that, it's all fine, fine and dandy. You guys, I mean, look, even here it says anything positive is always a good thing. Uh, negativity, if you're used to negativity, yelling, screaming, fighting, like, man, shit gets old. At the end of the day, it brings wear and tear to your body with stress, stuff like that. So once you eliminate that from your life and focus on something different, it's not hard to change. Anyhow, uh, I know I probably talk a lot, whatever, but... At the end of the day, I'm Kulex Skeeto, and stay tuned for uh, big things coming. I got my office coming, uh, storefront. It's going to be in a pretty profound area, I think out here in, in uh, Ontario. But I'm working hard on that. Um, that's going to be great. Still tattoos. It's going to be art studio, of course. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of classical artwork. I'm going to do sculpture. I'm going to do um, signs, logos, ink, uh, canvases, do art shows, graffiti art. Uh, eventually, after I'm fully, fully, fully done with this and taking my quantum physics classics, um, I'm going to want to teach art, teach kids art. At the same time, use positive ways, positive aspects. But uh, my biggest thing, and in, in not long-term goal, kind of short-term goal, is I mean, I'm still doing music. So I want to work on a documentary called The Emancipation of a Fallen Art God. And that um, is going to be dope because it's going to have all the aspects of my life, the good, the bad, and how I changed and how I use quantum physics and how I've done everything I can to 
fix who I am, fix who I was. Uh, the mail's here, so hopefully that's not good in there. Anyhow, uh, stay tuned. Check out my Instagram at Ink by Mos, I N K B Y M O S. Uh, I'm still doing tattoos and stuff like that, so go ahead and uh, message me. Make an appointment now, because uh, they get pretty profound. They get pretty, pretty, uh, pretty packed. Um, at the end of the day, just stay focused, stay tuned, stay locked to Mosquito, and I'll give you guys more insight on whatever you need to know. Hit me up. Check out my YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash Mosquito, M-O-S-K-E-E-D-O-E. -E -E. Also, stay tuned and check out the music. A lot of people are fall or not. They're like, you do music? Yeah, man, I used to be in a band and I did hip hop. But a uh, full album you can download on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash Mosquito, M-O-S-K-E-E-D-O-E. -E -E. um, but mostly, if you want to get a hold of me and stuff like that, Facebook or Instagram, that's at Ink by Mos. I-N-K-B-Y-M-O-S. All right?